the Dyson V10 Absolute still suck after all these years? And can the power hold up over time? Stick around to find out more. What is up guys? It's Chris with Everyday Chris and welcome back to my channel. Now as you know, I'm all about the Dyson products. Let's get straight into why I think the Dyson V10 was a solid purchase and why I think it's still worth it after three years of ownership. The V10 is a huge step forward from their V8 from battery life to performance. And even James Dyson, the founder of Dyson, believes that the V10 is the first step towards a completely wireless vacuum cleaner for the company's future. So what makes the Dyson so expensive? First, the quality is amazing. Second, it's easy to maintain. And third, well, it sucks, literally. For the size, it cleans extremely well on all types of surfaces with fade-free suction. The brush head that comes with the Dyson is made of carbon fiber bristles that dig deep and suck dirt and debris from the carpet. It also comes with various attachments and a charging dock. With the V10, you can easily switch between different modes based on the type of surface you're cleaning to save battery life. There's one, two, and max. If you're on carpet, max all the way. The other two settings can remove superficial items on top of the carpet, but it isn't strong enough to get deep down and get all that dirt and grime. However, if you're on tile or hardwood, you can definitely get away with the first or second setting, saving you battery life and providing enough performance. Now let's talk about how well the different cleaning modes did on different types of surfaces. Cleaning mode one. On tile or hardwood, I found that the first setting did a great job at picking up large, light objects, but had trouble picking up powder in between cracks. With the powder dust test, it failed. With the dirt test, it passed. With the hair test, it passed. On cleaning mode one, the sound level was around 79 decibels. Cleaning mode two, on the powder dust test, it definitely failed. On the dirt test, it passed. On the hair test, it also passed. On cleaning mode two, the sound levels were around 82 decibels. Max power. The powder dust test passed and was able to pick up all the debris in between the cracks on the tile floors. The dirt test passed as well, as well as the hair test. However, this was the loudest and it measured 91 decibels. I also want to say I love the sound that the Dyson V10 makes. It sounds super futuristic with that ping sound when you turn it off. There's no point in all that suction if the battery life dies quickly, but that's kind of the case with the V10. Now, I usually only use the Dyson with the attached brush head and that actually kills the battery faster. I also usually only use the max setting and the battery life lasts me about six minutes, which isn't nearly enough time to vacuum the carpet and downstairs. I do use the medium setting if I want to vacuum the entire downstairs, extending my battery life to about 25 minutes. On low, it does last me about 50 or so minutes of suction, but because I can't grab the dirt in between our tile floors, I rarely use this setting. There's also a battery life indicator on the side, which shows you when you're getting low. The V10 does take a while to charge from zero, about three hours. However, you can always take it off midway and finish the job. Now the V10 comes with their larger bin sizes. So I usually empty the bin halfway through, charge up and then resume vacuuming later. The bin maxed out with hair and dust that actually holds a good amount. Emptying the bin is extremely easy. You just point, shoot, and shake. Now let's get into cleaning. Cleaning the Dyson is ridiculously easy. Think of it as Legos for adults. Just press a few buttons and the bin disassembles for easy cleaning or removing any debris that's stuck in the vacuum cleaner. The filter actually works. After a month or so, the filter becomes a nice brown color. To clean the filter, you simply twist it off and run it under water and let it air dry. As far as durability goes, I've dropped this bad boy so many times I can't even count. I've also had no issues with it dying or not working and I use it once a week. It may look gross, but it still works like new. Not only that, using the Dyson is super easy. Just let it charge, put the attachment you want, and that's it. It's light, portable, and you can use it in the car or use it to grab some spider webs up high. 
The trigger is also very easy to press and hold, and I can probably do it with my pinky finger. Attaching and changing the cleaner head is also super easy. Just press the red button and put the new cleaner head until you hear the click, and you're good to go. Since the V10 has been out for a while, the V11 as well as the V11 Oversize has been out, so let's quickly go over some differences between the V10 and V11 series. As far as performance goes, there's not much difference. The one thing that the V11 has is a cool LCD screen that shows you your battery life, as well as an auto setting that bases the power of the vacuum cleaner on the surfaces that you're vacuuming. However, after knowing that the first setting isn't really that powerful, I like to be able to customize the setting based on how I like it. What's awesome about the newer V11 is it does have a click-in battery, thus extending your battery life longer and that i think is the most useful feature as it does get kind of annoying that my battery dies midway through my cleaning so i have to charge it up wait and then continue vacuuming right now on the dyson website the v10 is about 500 dollars, but you can definitely find it on sale i think this is an awesome price compared to their more expensive v11 models overall it's a solid purchase to have and it's a huge upgrade from the v8 and it still lasted me over three years and I love it. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for awesome gadgets that make your life easier here at Everyday Chris. All right guys, thanks for watching my video and I'll see you guys next week.